Hello and welcome to MyMiniMaths.co.uk video tutorials and today we're going to be looking at powers also sometimes known uh, as indices. So on to the first question, question 23a which is 4 squared. So if we take a square and we know from a square that the length of the sides are all the same and we can take from this we have four lots of four for a final answer of 16 and don't forget 16 is a square number and that's something you also need to remember and next we're on to question 23b which is four cubed or four to the power of three now here this is what we call our power also known as an index and you will have seen these when we look at bigness for when we look at the i part for indices and what this means is if we take a cube and we take the side to be four for this edge here another four for this edge here and a four for the height we can have the calculation is 4 times 4 times 4. Now 4 times 4 is 16. We can times that by 4 to give us a final answer of 64, which is a cube number. And the way we work that out, if we, what you'll also have noticed that this is the volume of the cube because that bottom layer is 4 times 4, which is 16. Remove those. And then we have a total of four layers of 16, which total 64. And next we're on to question C, which is 40. And with this time, we're going to subtract the power from the original 40. So when we look at Bidmus and the order of our operations, we can see that the index here comes before the subtraction in the order or in the list of orders. So first of all we're going to perform this part of the calculation so that's 3 squared and we know that is 3 times 3 which equals 9 then we're going to take the 40 which comes all the way down and we're going to take this 9 away from the 40 to give us a final answer of 31 and finally we're on to question 23d which is 10 cubed so again if we take a cube and we know that it measures 10 by 10 by 10 we know bottom layer is 10 rows of 10 so that's 100 altogether and then we have 10 of those so we have a final answer of 1000 and inside here we have the calculation of 10 times 10 times 10 to give us that, to give us that final answer that's everything for today thank you very much for listening and i'll speak to you again soon take care